Hi everyone, Mrs. Riley here with another nonfiction November first chapter Friday. So if you're watching this video in order, this is going to be our last first chapter Friday for November, and we're finishing up with another nonfiction book. This book is called Smart, Use Your Eyes to Boost Your Brain by Amy E. Herman with Heather McLean. I'm gonna to read to you a very short summary and then that will hopefully explain a little bit more about the book. What would you say if I told you that looking at art could give you the confidence you need to speak up in class? Or that learning the history of donuts could help you think like a super spy and train like the CIA? SMART teaches readers how to process information using paintings, sculptures, and photographs that instantly translates to real world situations and is also fun. With three simple steps. Number one, how to see. Number two, how to think about what you see. Number three, how to talk about what you see. Readers learn how to reflect critically and creatively, a skill that only requires you to open your eyes and actively engage your brain. I'm going to read to you just part of chapter one called Your Brain is Magic. The human brain is a mystery and a marvel, and maybe a little bit magical. It tells our bodies what to do consciously and unconsciously. It stores our thoughts and memories, regulates our emotions, and every once in a while comes up with really great ideas like antibiotics or waffle cones. Much like when you practice baseball or the piano, every time you use your brain, you're improving it. Scientists used to believe that the brain you were born with was the brain you were stuck with, and that some people were just born with smarter brains. But as people lived longer, healthier lives, and technology advanced, scientists were able to learn more about the human brain, and they discovered some startling things, such as the brain can heal itself, or that it can make new pathways and rewire connections, and that it never stops growing. The brain's ability to adapt and change is called plasticity. We can improve our brain's function at any time in our lives for all of our lives. The more you engage your brain, the quicker, smarter, and more powerful it will be, which is helpful not just for your future, getting a job or following your passion, but also in the present. A better, faster brain can help you right now. It can help you do better in school, have better friendships, be a better judge of situations, and negotiate better deals with the adults in your life, like later bedtimes or a larger allowance. A better, faster brain can help keep you safe, help you solve difficult problems, and help you see what everyone else may have missed. There's a small little part of this chapter called Brainy Kids. In 1905, an 11-year-old named Frank Epperson was in his San Francisco backyard making his favorite drink, flavored powder stirred into water, when his mother called him inside. He set his cup down and forgot all about it. There was an unseasonable frost overnight, and the next morning, Frank found his cup had completely frozen, the stirring stick standing straight up in the colored ice. He tipped the cup upside down, removed it, held the stick, and licked the delicious fruity icicle. He realized other kids might like to do the same, so he intentionally began freezing his flavored water in small cups with sticks and called them Epsicles. Today, the company he started sells 2 billion popsicles a year. When Hannah Taylor was five years old, she saw something countless other people had seen before her, a homeless man eating out of a trash can. Instead of just shrugging it off though, Hannah decided to do something about it. Three years later, she founded the Ladybug Foundation to raise awareness and funds for the homeless community. She became a voice for the homeless, speaking to crowds of 16,000 people at a time, and so far she's raised $2 million to help the cause. When 12-year-old Jessica Maple's grandmother's house was robbed, she was told by police that since they found no signs of forced entry, the burglar was someone who had used a key to get in. Jessica did her own detective work, though, and discovered a broken window and fingerprints the police had missed in the attached garage. She then thought about what the criminals would do with the stuff they stole and decided they might try to sell it for money. She visited a local pawn shop and found some of her grandmother's belongings there. When she told the police, they were able to interview the shop owner about who had sold them the items and the suspects were arrested. What do these three kids have in common? They all saw something everyone else had missed. Want to be the hero in your own life, for your family, or for your community? You don't need superpowers, just a supercharged brain. Supercharging your brain is easy and anyone, I mean anyone can do it. It doesn't matter where you go to school or how many books you've read. It doesn't involve memorizing or math. All it takes to increase your brain's capacity for thinking and problem solving to help you become the next inventor or crime solver or great humanitarian is three simple steps. Learn to see, learn to think about what you see, learn to talk about what you see. So that was just a portion of the first chapter of SMART, Use Your Eyes to Boost Your Brain by Amy E. Herman with Heather McLean. If you'd like to check out this nonfiction book, be sure to visit the library Google Classroom and fill out the raffle form.